Hello and welcome to my Python programming for beginners course. In this video we're going to be learning about dictionaries. Dictionaries, like lists, are a type of collection, but instead of storing items as an index, like lists do, dictionaries use key value pairs. So if you look at dictionaries in the real world, inside the dictionary you'll have a word and a corresponding definition for that word. This is essentially how a key value pair works. The word is the key and then the definition is the value of the key. So if we switch over to VS Code, let's get started. So I'll create a new folder called 08-dictionaries. And inside here we'll create a new file called dictionaries.py. So with lists, we know that we use square brackets for the list. But with dictionaries, we now use curly braces. So for this example, we'll have a variable called person, and we'll give it the value of a dictionary. So on a list, when you want to access an item, you use square brackets and use the index for the item. What you do with dictionaries is you also use square brackets, but instead of using the index, you can use whatever value you want to be the key, and then you assign it the value for that key. So if we have a person, we can have a name, and this can equal Josh. We can then do person age equals 24 and we can do person country and make that equal Australia. So when you have a dictionary this is how you create specify the key name and this is how you give it the value. So if we wanted to create this dictionary and have it start off already having these values we can put them inside of the square brackets here but the way you write it is different it wouldn't be name equals Josh it would be name colon Josh then you do comma age 24 comma country colon Australia so if I if we were to do a print statement for each of these print person here and do the same thing below now f5 to run it then select like python file we can see it's printed it out as square brackets like this so the way you see key value pairs is it's the key colon value. So with this let's create a quick little program for it. Call it key val value pairs.py. So we're gonna have a variable called key value pairs and I'm going to initialize it as just an empty dictionary. So what we're going to do in here is just a basic program where it'll run forever and you have the option to enter a key then enter the value for that key. So to do that we'll just do a while true do key equals input enter a key then we'll do the same thing for value so value equals input enter a value then we'll do key value pairs key equals value so that each time it runs we will print out the key value pairs so we press F5 to run that so enter a key we can just do key and we can do value now we see you have key value pair there then if we were to do the key of key again and we do a new value we see we've overridden the key with a new value. So what else, something else we can do is do a for loop to go over it. So with the list we saw we could use a for loop and each time it iterates it gets a new item from the list. So with the dictionaries it works a little bit differently but we can go over that right now. So let's do just for item in key value pairs and then we'll print out the item to see what it does. So we do key value. So when I ran the for loop for item in key value pairs, the item it printed was the word key, which is, well, the key that we added. So if we were to add something else in here, let's just do key of one, two, three, with the value of one, two, three, it's only printing out the keys. So if we wanted it to only print the values, what we can do here is for key value pairs dot values. Now if we run it again, let's do one, two, three, three, four, five, or I should say four, five, six. 
it's now printing out 456 to do printing out the values but we, if we want to get both key and values we can do dot items and we can do k comma v so when it runs k will have the value of the key and v will have the value of well the value so if we run again we can do key value oops my mistake I forgot to change the names here but let's let's improve the input by having it print a key and then the value of the key then we'll do value and the value of the value oops actually I just noticed a mistake here I accidentally typed in the strings key and value instead of k and v so it's instead just printing out these values so let's quickly change that so k v so if we run that we we'll do have a key of 1 2 3 and a value of 4 5 6 so we can see key 1 2 3 value 4 5 6 then we'll add a key of a b c d e f now it's printing out key 1 2 3 value 4 5 6 key a b c value d e f I hope this video has helped you in your understanding of how dictionaries work in Python. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that are added to this Python programming for beginners course.